Ever heard of the guy who said the stock market is a device for transferring money from the impatient to the patient? Well, he got it half right. It's actually a device for transferring money from the have-nots to the haves, and you can decide which side you want to be on. Now, there's a common misconception that the stock market is like a casino, where Lady Luck calls the shots. Picture this. A bloke named Joe, a regular at the horse races, thought he'd bring his betting skills to the stock market. He figured it was all the same game, right? Well, let's just say Joe learned a pretty expensive lesson. You see, the stock market isn't about luck. It's about understanding the rules. A casino might be a gamble, but the stock market, that's a gold mine for those who know how to dig. So, remember, the stock market isn't a Las Vegas casino. It's more like a gold mine, and you're the prospector. Choose your tools wisely. Did you hear about the monkey who became a stock market millionaire? He picked stocks by throwing darts at a board. But don't get any ideas unless you're a monkey with an uncanny knack for darts. Now that's a tale to remember, isn't it? But it's not exactly a blueprint for success. You see, the stock market isn't a game of chance. It's a game of strategy. Did our millionaire monkey have a strategy? Well, his strategy was as coherent as a toddler's babble. Yet sometimes luck does play its part. But do you really want to leave your financial future to chance? I thought not. Instead, let's consider an approach that's a bit more reliable than dart throwing. It involves research, understanding the company you're investing in, and considering market trends. This approach might not be as exciting as dart throwing, but it's certainly less likely to make you go bananas. Now, let me share a story about a man named Fred. Fred was an enthusiastic stock investor who loved his dog, a rather vocal beagle named Buster. One day, Fred noticed that Buster had a peculiar habit of barking twice when the postman delivered a letter from a certain company. Fred, always on the lookout for a hot tip, decided that Buster's barks were a sign to invest in this company. Do you think Fred got rich? Well, let's just say Buster's barking wasn't exactly a reliable indicator of market trends. Fred lost a substantial amount of money and learned a valuable lesson. Even man's best friend isn't the best source of investment advice. So the next time you're about to pick a stock, ask yourself, am I being a dart-throwing monkey or am I making an informed decision? Because while monkeys might get lucky, they also eat bananas for dinner, not caviar. Let's aim for the caviar, shall we? You know the story of the tortoise and the hare, right? Well, in the stock market, the tortoise always wins, unless there's a bear or a bull involved, but we'll get to that later. Patience, my dear friends, is not just a virtue in life, it's the golden ticket in the stock market. Just imagine our hair-like investor, let's call him Harry. Harry was always hopping from one stock to the other, chasing the next big thing. His heart was racing, his palms were sweaty, and his portfolio, well, let's just say it wasn't looking too peachy. Now let's turn our attention to our tortoise-like investor, Terry. Terry, unlike Harry, wasn't in a rush. He picked his stocks carefully, held onto them, and let the magic of compound interest do its thing. And voila, Terry's portfolio bloomed like a well-tended garden. So remember, in the stock market, slow and steady does win the race, unless you're up against a bull or a bear. But that's a story for another day. All right, we've had our laughs. But let's face it, the stock market is serious business, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. Remember when we talked about the stock market being a gold mine? It's not about digging aimlessly. You've got to study the terrain, pick the best tools, and work with a strategy and picking stocks. It's not akin to throwing darts blindfolded. It's like playing a game of chess, where you need to think several moves ahead. And let's not forget the lesson of the tortoise and the hare. Slow and steady does win the stock race. You don't have to be a hare dashing about, chasing every hot tip. Be the tortoise steadily amassing wealth. And for a final chuckle, consider the tale of a woman who, upon hearing about a bull market, went off to a livestock auction, checkbook in hand. So there you have it. The stock market might seem like a bull in a china shop at times, but with a bit of patience, a dash of wisdom, and a good sense of humour, you'll find it's more like a bull in a gold mine. Happy investing.